Hey everyone, in my last video, I showed you how to fix Valorant Vanguard issues and it worked for most people. But I know some of you are still facing problems, so I'm adding a few extra steps that might just solve it for you. These new steps are simple and could be the missing fix you need. So first off, let's try disabling core isolation. This setting sometimes causes conflicting, so switching it off might help. Next, we will check group policy editor to make sure nothing there is blocking vanguard and then we will allow vanguard through windows firewall to make sure it's connect properly if the last video worked for you that's awesome but if not combining it with these new steps should help let's jump in and by the way the last video i will attach in the end of these steps so yeah let's get started so as i said first core isolation we will disable this setting since it sometimes interfere with vanguard so simply you need to click on the windows security and sometimes i notice people are uh, facing issue like there is drag and it's not showing up properly so go into the settings let's make it simple so everybody can follow it and then privacy and security now you will see here the windows security and then you need to open the device security which is the important option now core isolation detail and then just turn it off memory integrity turn it off from here click on yes and that's it now you should restart your pc in my case i'm not restarting right now because i need to demonstrate for the steps so yeah restart your pc and after restarting let's move on this step number two which is group policy editor we will uh check to make sure there are no setting blocking vanguard from starting so that's the easiest step i guess you can check from group policy editor press windows plus r key and then type gpedit.msc and then hit enter once you hit enter let me expand it a bit now you will see here the windows settings and then in the windows settings you will see here the security settings just double tab on it or single tab on it and then you will see here the windows defender firewall with advanced security just double tap on it once you are here expand it from here and you will see here the windows defender firewall with advanced security local group policy object so expand it once again and then you will see here the three connection type inbound rules make sure there uh, there are no item to show in this view if there is then just delete that and in the same thing you need to perform in the outbound rules and then connection uh, security rules in my case it's super clean which means there's nothing restriction on any internet connection right how oh, you got it so now the third thing is windows firewall for the windows firewall simply you need to uh, click on the windows security icon once again you need to open this and if it's not appearing here you know where you can access it once again and then firewall and network once you are here you will see here the allow an app through firewall just click on that and now change settings and then allow another app just click on that click on browse and then you need to go into the drive where you install the game the right games in my case i'm using it a drive but probably the c drive is default and then you need to go into the right client and then you need to allow the right client services just click on add add over and then make sure check both the private and public currently we are using private but it's better to allow both so that will help you and as you can see it's already added so let's remove it from here but in your case might be you uh, will see only one option uh, just add and private and public check and then click again click on pros and this time if you have a vanguard but it's not working like let me show you go into the c drive then program files i guess vanguard is over here just press v or right vanguard so yeah go into the right vanguard you will see here the vgc just click on that click on add and you will see here the vanguard user mode service just make sure check both options and then click on okay okay and then close it now the first step you can follow along the my past video i will attach uh, that video after this these method but the uh, thing is uh, now first try it out might be it will fix your problem just restart your pc once and then try it out also go into the services and then you need to go into the you know uh, v press v and you will get here the vgc click on start if it's not running 
and one more thing if you are, are gonna restart your pc then make sure set automatic hit apply and yeah now whenever you restart your pc it will start automatically might be that will work for you and another thing is uh, if you are going into the properties you will see here the local system account and this is the account right now in case if you are using the local user account not the administrator account right let me explain a bit more might be i, I know i'm not good with the, uh, this language but uh it's important to show you what does that mean so you need to go into the uh, guys uh, system our accounts and then you will see here that's my current user account which which basically has uh, administrator powers but in your case might be you are using the local account i mean when you create from here and then you will see it will ask you i don't have uh, this uh, person in sign in information and then there's another option add a user without a microsoft account and then give it any name click on next and then you can see here your local account that's the local account it's not administrator and when you click on the change account type you will see here the administrator option click on that and now you have administrator options just like this so make sure you are using the administrator account right now if you don't have you can create it or in case if you are using the office pc or somewhere else then ask your it department to allow you the administrator permissions or alternative ways you can just choose here this account and then you will find here the name if name is not working you can use the email as i am using currently uh, you can see email so what you need to do here simply you need to choose this and then you can click on browse and then you need to type here like in my case my name is popping up like uh, austin so austin and then click on check see it will automatically allow this and then click on ok now if you are using any password just type it over here if you are not using then ignore it in my case yes i have a password so hit apply and you will see here the account dot backslash austin has been granted the logon as a service right so now your account have permissions to allow this vgc right and uh, if you are already using this then you can also switch back on the local system account which will allow your service but in that case you must have the administrator permissions as i said i have administrator account not the local account and another method is you can go into the control panel uh, then user accounts user accounts again and here you can see Austin and then it's a local account but with administrator permissions so that's what we need guys to run this service properly I hope you got this now you can fix your problem easily and uh, yeah after that just restart your service or restart your PC it will automatically restart your service because we choose here the automatic startup you know and this will solve your problem further steps a lot of people are saying it's work uh, it's working for them so you can also watch the video entire video so let me know your feedback guys i'm waiting for you it can only be installed through the right client if you are facing a stuck issue watch this video to clear your doubts before proceeding if you have a specific request drop it in the comment don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get started. So the step number one, update windows. It's crucial if you are, if your issues appear after an update, uninstall the recent update. First of all, we are clicking on this windows icon, then going into the settings and over here, update and security, just go over there and make sure if you have any pending updates, make sure install it first and also go into the view optional updates might be there few drivers related to your cpu or gpu make sure check them and install them in, in my case i have android one so i'm not gonna install this one so just do it right now step number two uninstall vanguard services whether installed or not use these commands to check if it's installed so first of all we are going here into the cmd and make sure run as administratorly as i said administratorly windows system 32 if it's 
appearing here the windows or user then what you need to do here just go into the file explorer then go into the c drive then windows then system 32 folder and find here the cmd and run it from here by administratorly now first command sc delete vgk and hit enter now again sc delete vgc and enter that's it now type exit that's it now our services has been deleted perfectly now what we are gonna do here just come here on these uh, tree icons and right click on it exit vanguard click on yes and wait until it will close from here once it's run now go into the file explorer then go into the c drive program file x86 file here the right vanguard folder if it's not appearing here go back find in program files and just right click on it click on delete once you have done these process now simply we need to restart our pc so i'm just pausing here my recording all right guys after restarting launch the riot client which is important because now we are gonna download the riot, riot vanguard through riot client it will automatically install the riot vanguard after launching the riot client now just click on your valorant and as you can see here it's showing that install vanguard when updating through the riot client if the update button is stuck like this wait for at least five minutes let the riot client download and install vanguard if nothing happens download the cloudflare war tool run it after restarting your pc run the update through the tool and wait for five minutes now we are waiting here for five minutes let's see what will appear all right as you can see your games require a system restart to play please restart your computer if this issue continues uh, reach out to our player support team one more thing you can do here make sure just click over here windows icon then you need to go into the control panel now go into the programs and here you need to go into the turn windows feature on or off once you go over there make sure select here the two option which is important virtual machine platform virtual uh, windows hypervisor platform check these both options and hit ok and then restart your pc and try to do the same process again now in my case it's done i'm just restarting my pc just pausing my recording over here all right guys after restarting now let's see uh we have riot vanguard over here now launching the riot client let's see what's oh it's done now uh th these are the process guys just apply these steps if nothing happens download the cloudflare warp tool run it after restarting your pc and uh, run the update through the tool and wait for five minutes again over here and that's it your problem should be fixed if you found today's video helpful please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tips and tricks related to pc drop any issue you are facing in the comment section and i'll create a tutorial for you see you in the next one take care bye